A third day of protests in the Holy City, and now some citizens are reacting to how the police department handled these different situations. News 2's Olivia Parsons is live for us outside CPD headquarters this morning. Olivia, Chief Reynolds says that his department's racial bias audit played a role in his department's response. Brad, and he says since last year's racial bias audit, there have been several changes to his department, but what he feels has been the most beneficial is investing in the right people for the job. Now, he says when it comes to accountability, there's been changes in command and promotions. He also says CPD is investing heavily in their training and making sure that staff is fully equipped. Reynolds says he's excited about the changes and that they manifested as his department handled this week's violence. He also says it's changed day-to-day -day contacts. When we talk about public trust, public engagement, solving problems, community policing, that's done with each officer every day, one contact at a time, solving one problem at a time, working closely with our community members. Now, Chief Reynolds says he's working to make his department a model agency, but he acknowledges, of course, there is always room for improvement and that his department is a learning organization. For now, reporting here in downtown Charleston, Olivia Parsons, Count on Two.